Hey there, Clark Chamberlain here. I got a question for you. What do you do when you find a box of books that you can't do anything with anymore? <laughs> so I was uh, doing a remodel in my garage and I came across this, completely unopened. And it's an entire box of these, Love's Deception. Now, Love's Deception was the first book that I ever wrote and I wrote this while I was in Iraq. And um, in the first printing that came out, there was a mistake. The wrong file had gotten uploaded. This was a non-edited file. Not that the edited file was much better, mind you, but this was terrible, and I couldn't do anything with them. I had 100 books. I, uh, I tossed a whole bunch of them, but somehow this box of 50 ended up still sitting in my garage. So what do you do when you got a stack of books and nothing to do with them? Well, of course, you're going to build a book bar. So as you can see here, I've already gotten a lot of this done, uh, the, the rough framing out there. And uh, what I'm going to end up doing with the books, and I'll show you that to you here in a little bit, is actually use them across here to make the bar top. And it's going to be a lot of fun to put this together. When it's finished, it's going to be an awesome piece uh, for the new office, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now before we get to actually doing the book top for the bar, uh, I've got to go ahead and get the rest of the finished wood put on here. Okay, so the tabletop has just been seal coated. So I had to prep the top surface there on the edges to make sure that I had um, all the stain done and then get all the books in place here and put the seal coat on. Now it does look a little cloudy in some places. That'll clear up um, as it's drying. And it takes about four to six hours <laughs> before it'll be finished. So I guess I'm gonna get back to some writing. So this is the next part of the bad book bar and um, the epoxy has completely totally finished here um, on the bar top and as you can see it has a very good sheen to it a uh, good reflection uh, the books are well encased in here if you're going to do one of these with books i made a couple small errors um, the first one is i should have um, glued down all the covers I should have taken a glue stick and ran it across the edges because right here some of the uh, books two of the books the corners stuck up just a little bit and it's created a bump which I'm going to now have to sand down and smooth out the second thing that I should have done before pouring was fill in this crack I thought that I would have been able to pour in enough epoxy that it would fill it in itself but now I have a crack that was right across here and it was just a it was just a small edge dividing on this one side and I should have filled this in before pouring because it just didn't have enough that was just too deep of a gap you know it was an inch deep um, and the epoxy only does a half or an eighth of an inch at a time so now what I've done I tried yesterday uh, to fill that crack with a clear silicone but it didn't interact very well with the epoxy top uh, so now what I'm doing is I'm putting in wood filler, um, just simple wood filler here. And I've put down tape on both sides of this so that I don't, uh, for easier cleanup after I'm done. Um, this will probably take a couple of times um, for it. It'll have a little shrinkage to it. Um, but afterward, I can sand this and then I can match the color up with the epoxy. And I could put a small amount of epoxy over the top of that if I want to add the sheen to it. But it should blend in even better. Okay, so gotten all of the sanding done 
I uh, used wood filler in on some of the locations. Used some wood filler to fill in some of the holes. Um, sanded down the corners here to make a nice even look across the entire piece. And then I started the staining. back with the bad book bar we are all finished up here this was an amazing project to do a lot of fun something good to come out of something bad and it is a perfect standing desk for the drinking author you can take a look at how well this bar top turned out the stain looks great it all came together real nice and actually it does make a perfect standing desk as well. It was not my intention to start out to create a standing desk, but I now write here every day. So, But remember, the one thing bad about having a bar in your office is that you have a bar in your office. Hope you had fun watching this. I'm Clark Chamberlain, and I'll talk to you later.